Hey everyone, as we're starting another video in our hiragana series, I thought it'd be good to review what we learned yesterday, which was a i u e o, ka ki ku ke ko, and sa shi su se so. So we'll start with a i u e o. So we have a i u e and o. Next we have is ka. Ki, ku, ke, ko. Sa, shi, su, se, and so. So just a friendly reminder of those ones. And now we'll get into the next 15 characters. Uh, so we're going to start with ones that start with T. So we have ta. Now, instead of T, we're actually going to pronounce it Chi. And instead of Tu, it's going to be Tsu. So there's a bit of a, you use your tongue to kind of push against the back of your teeth to make that Tsu sound. Tsu. Then Te. To. So the first one that we're going to do is Ta. And Ta starts with a small line left to right. Then a line that goes through top to bottom, kind of on an a leftward angle. Then we're going to kind of add ko beside it. We're going to do a line going across the top and then a line going along the bottom. So that is ta. We'll do that again. So line across, down with a leftward angle, and basically ko beside it. One more time. Short line. Line straight through, left to right curved on the top, and then left to right with a curve on the bottom, and that's ta. Chi, same idea, we're going to be doing a small line across, so left to right. We're going to do a line going through, but we're not going to make it go straight all the way. We're going to stop about midpoint, and then we're going to do kind of like a backwards C, and that's chi. So again, line across, down, and C. Back with C. One last time. Line across, down, backward C. C is one of the easier ones to do. It's basically one line that you do. So you're going to go left to right, and when you get to the end, you're going to keep going. You're going to then curve around and bring it back, and that's C. So we'll do that one more, uh, two more times. Left to right, curve. And that's two. And kind of like a sideways hook. Te is also an easy one. It's a single movement. You're going to start with a line kind of at the top, going left to right. When you've gone over, you're going to then kind of come back, and we're going to turn and do a little curve. So line across, down with the curve. Line across, down with a curve. And that's te. And last one is to. So we're going to do, starting from the left, we're going to go on an angle to the right, down to right. We're now going to go from the right side, and we're going to do kind of a uh, C, but not a full curve. It's going to be more of like a stretched out C. And that's to. Left hand corner, going down on a right angle, right corner, coming around and doing a curve. One more time, like so. So that would be all of the T ones. So we have Ta, Chi, Tsu, Te, To. The next ones we're going to do are ones that start with N. So we have Na, Ni, Nu, Ne, and No. And so there's a few in here. Uh, nu and Ne are going to look very similar. Uh, so we'll practice that one maybe a little more and just show you a side-by-side -side comparison of the difference between Nu and Ne. 
So first is ni, or na. So we're going to do top left corner, we're going to do a small line going across. We're now going to do a line going through, from top to bottom, through that, to make kind of a tiny slanted X. We're then going to do a dash across, and then we're going to then, in the middle of those two symbols, we're going to do a line going down and loop it around. And that's not. So kind of like a small cross, a dash, and a looped around. And that's not. And we'll do that one more time. Like that. And that's not. Next one we're going to do is knee. So we're going to go on the left hand side, we're going to go from top to bottom. We're going to do a line down with a little tick at the bottom. And then the same idea, we're going to do ko, kind of a left, hand, uh, left to right line on the top, and then another one curved at the bottom, like so. So again, knee, up to our top to bottom, left to right, left to right. And one more. Like so. So now new is two movements or two uh, uh, strokes. So you're going to do leftward or kind of left corner. You're going to go on a slight left right hand angle, but not too far. You're then going to go beside it and from kind of a rightward angle, you're going to go around and do a few loops, and that's new. So there's a bit of swirling going on around when we do this. So there's the left hand angle, right hand angle, loop around, curve, and another loop. One more. Left hand, right hand, loop, curve, loop, end. All right, and now ne, which is similar to new. We're going to do a line straight from top to bottom on the left hand side. We're now going to take just underneath where we started that left hand line. We're going to do a left upward angle going right. We're then going to come back and zag it down diagonally to the left corner. Bring it back up, curve it, bring it down, and loop. So that's ne. So again, a line straight from top to bottom, one just underneath, you're going to angle up, bring it back down, bring it up, uh, loop it, and end. One more time. So a line going down, small angle up, angle back down, bring it and kind of curve it, and loop. So I wanted to show a side-by-side -side comparison of new and ne as they are similar in terms of having that kind of uh, loopy feeling to it. So first is new, and then ne. So it'd be pretty easy to mix them up, so just remember that new is more curved and ne has the more straight line uh, and angle going for it. And last one is no, which is my favorite one to do. Uh, it's basically one movement. You're going to start kind of in the top uh, center, and you're going to curl down to the left, bring it back up, circle shape, and that's no. So it's like three quarters of a circle. So top center, bring it down, bring it around, and then end it. One more. Top down, and there you go. That is no. So our last step that we're going to do today are the ones that start with H. So this one is going to be ha, he, but instead of who, we're going to actually pronounce it fu, then he, ho. Okay? So ha, he, fu, he, ho. So first one is ha, which is in kind of two pieces. So your first piece, this is kind of like when you wrote ke is you're going to go top to bottom, a little tick at the bottom. We're going to do a small line going left to right and another line going through. And 
at the bottom, we're going to loop it around. So again, let top to bottom, small left to right, top to the bottom. When we get to the bottom, we're going to loop around. Last time, like so. Next one is he, and he's a fun one to do. It's all a single uh, action. So you're going to start top left corner, and you're going to do left with an upward angle to the right. You're going to come back down, back towards the left. You're going to make a kind of a circle, bring it back up, and then do a tick at the top. And that is he. So again, like so, kind of like a sideways horseshoe. So left to right, down towards the left corner, bring it back up towards the right corner, and then a tick at the end. Now, Fu has quite a few actions to it, so you're actually going to be doing it in several steps. We have the top one, which is in the middle, kind of a small tick, and then we're going to do a bigger kind of a tick, almost like a nose. You're then going to do, on the left-hand side, a tick that faces towards the nose, and then one on the right that goes like so. So again, that's Fu. You start at the top, kind of a nose shape, left-hand side, right-hand side. One more time. Small tick at the top, nose, left, right. Okay, He is basically like an upside down check mark. So you're going to start on the left hand side, do an angle towards the right, and then come back down. And that's hey. So again, you're basically just drawing an upside down check mark. Like so. So now we're going to do ho. Now you might notice that ho is very similar to ha. We're going to do the same thing as we did with K and Ha, where we're going to do that line on the left-hand side from top to bottom with a small tick. Now at the top on the right-hand side, we're going to do one line across left to right, another line across left to right. Then from the start of that uh, top line, we're going to make a line go straight through, through that bottom line, and then do a loop at the bottom, and that's whole. So make sure that your line doesn't go above the top line. You want it to just be to line up with that top line. So again, ho is left hand line straight down, two lines, small lines across, and a line going through with a curve at the bottom. Like so. And I'm just going to give you a side-by-side -side comparison as well for ha and ho, just because they are very similar in appearance. So we have ha, which does have a line, the line goes through, but there's more on the top, and ho, which is two lines, but the line does not go all the way through both. Okay, so that is the difference between ha and ho. So those are the next uh, 15 characters that we're going to learn. So we're going to do a review first of the ones that we learned today. So we had ta, chi, tsu, te, to, Next was na, ni, nu, ne, and no. And last is ha, hi, fu, he, and ho. All right, so that's our 15 characters for today. And again, tomorrow I'll be doing not 15 characters, but I'll be doing close to it. I'm going to be doing actually, uh, let's see, 16 characters uh, tomorrow. So there's going to be a few where there's only, um, well, I'll tell you what they are. So we're going to be learning ma, mi, mu, me, mo, da, ri, ru, re, ro. So R has a bit of a, um, you kind of stick your tongue on the back of your teeth as well, kind of like with tsu, and you, da, you, it almost sounds like la. Uh, then we have ya, yu, yo, uh, wa, a different kind of o, and n. Mm. So that's the one that I mentioned before where it's the only consonant that has its own character. Uh, so with that being said, I'm just going to give a whole review of all the characters we've learned so far. So that's 30 characters altogether. We have a, 
イウエオカキクケコサシスセソ And then we have タチツテトナリヌネノ And last was ハヒフヘポ So with that, we'll conclude today's、uh, video and stay tuned for the ones tomorrow. Until then, See you later.